Hello and welcome back, my lover of wisdom. You find me here at one of my favorite sea caves. And in ancient times, people who wanted to have a spiritual life often resorted to escaping into these caves. The Stoics, however, had a completely different perspective. They believed that spiritual or profound and deep intelligent people should be in society. As a matter of fact, at the center of the polis, at the center of public life. Socrates, the Stoics, and other schools of Athens remained within the city walls. In fact, the Stoics got their name from the Stoa Pikile. Now, a stoa is something like a gallery, a colonnade. The Stoics would gather in this marketplace area, this arcade, which had many beautiful pictures and drawings. That's why they called it Stoa Pikile. That means the painted porch where people could sit and philosophize about the meaning of life. So today we're going to look at Stoicism a little more deeply than other videos. We're going to go into the three disciplines. Remember yesterday we did the discipline of ascent, the discipline of will, as well as the discipline of action. So today I'm going to show you exactly what the Stoics mean by these three disciplines. One of the principles of the discipline of ascent is that you have to immediately recognize what is in your control and what is not in your control. Okay? Uh, is the weather in your control? No. So you can't complain about the weather. You can do what is in your control and that is to take an umbrella or to schedule your meeting another day. This is the basis of the discipline of ascent. And let's read from Epictetus, the famous Stoic philosopher, what he had to say. He says, the chief task in life is simply this, to identify and separate matters so that you can clearly say to yourself, what are externals and what are not under my control? Basically, you have to figure out what is in your control and what is not in your control. And this, you give the okay to, okay? It's up to you to say, you know what, that's something that's out of my control. I'm not going to get upset about it. I'm going to do whatever I can do for myself and to make the situation better. Okay? What is in your control? Your, your thoughts are in your control. Your actions are in your control. Uh, your plans and strategy are within your control. The things that are outside of your control are other people's opinions, other people's feelings, other people's actions. You know, it's like the thumbs up to certain thoughts or the thumbs down to certain thoughts. All right? Don't just allow thoughts to happen to you. You have, are giving the okay, the permission. That is what assent means. Passions and emotions are also within your control. Applying your logic, you can affect your emotions and your passions. And this is the work. This is the work you have to do. It doesn't happen easily. It's the work you have to do. The discipline of will. Okay, the discipline of will has to do with cultivating fortitude and resilience. All right, positive habits. And Epictetus says, we must undergo a hard winter training and not rush things for which we haven't prepared. Okay, so discipline of will means to build up your resilience, to prepare, to resist just jumping into things. 
this will help you be more successful when you discipline your will and your passions. The last discipline is the discipline of action. The discipline of action. And the Stoics uh, live according to the cardinal values. All right, I, I spoke about the four cardinal values. Justice, temperance, courage, and wisdom. All right, so they try to take action based on these four values. Uh, go ahead and check out my link below and you will find a summary of my ebook uh, that is both Stoicism and even more, it's like Stoicism Plus. Yeah.